Hi my dear children in this part two video we are going to discuss the remaining questions of chapter 6 MS Word 2016 from class 5 National Cyber Olympiad NCO MTG workbook okay so 15th one what is the shortcut to set the line spacing to 1.5 okay what is the shortcut to set the line spacing to 1.5 so option is option d is the correct answer okay option d next 16th one in print layout view you can dash view the document as it will appear on the printed page yes so option a is the correct answer next is 17th by pressing control plus shift plus 8 you can so by pressing control plus shift plus 8 we can show or hide paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols so option a is the correct answer 18th you have inserted a bulleted list in a document you want to change size of bullet in the list how can you do so to change the size of bullet in the list we have to select the bullet and then choose desired size from font size box so option a is the correct answer okay 19th one which of the following statement is incorrect okay incorrect about header and footer in ms word 2016 so option a you cannot insert a picture in header and footer area it is the incorrect statement we can insert a picture in header and footer area b you cannot apply drop cap feature to header and footer text it is the correct statement c you can insert current date or time yes d you can specify the height of the header and footer area it is also correct statement so we need to select the incorrect statement so option a is the correct answer okay next one which of the following operation allows you to adjust the position of picture on the page so please pause the video and please check the given option so option a position option it is available under the arrange group of picture format tab of picture tools so it allows us to adjust the position of picture on the page so option a is the correct answer next achiever section 21 which of the following task can be done with the given feature so it is the paragraph mark so it is used to show symbols to provide a visual representation of specific formatting in a document it is the correct statement 2 it is used to apply shadow glow or reflection effect to the text in the document so it is the incorrect statement so only option 1 okay so only one is the correct statement so option a is the correct answer next 22 consider the given snapshot the cursor is after the word warm what would happen when you click option available in the paragraph group so the cursor is after the word warm so bottom border okay the given option is bottom border it adds a solid line below the current line of the text so option b is the correct answer a solid line will get displayed between these two lines of the text okay so option b next one which of the following task can be done with the given feature so one insert a pre formatted text box yes to draw a text box yes three add only the blank text box no so both one and two okay both one and two so option a is the correct answer okay option a it will insert a pre formatted text box and also draw a text box so option a 24 select the incorrect statement okay select the incorrect statement with respect to header and footer tools so a copy the header content to the footer area it is incorrect because this is used for editing the footer style okay 
B. Used for editing the header style. Yes. C. Navigate to the previous header or footer. Yes. D. Navigate to the next header or footer. Yes. So, please check the icon. So, bottom part means footer and then top means header. Okay. So, option A is the incorrect match. So, option A is the correct answer. Last one. How can you change a page number style from 1, 2, 3 to A, B, C? So, to change a page number style from 1, 2, 3 to A, B, C, we have to go to insert tab, then select header and footer group page number and then format page number. So, option C is the correct answer. Okay, option C. Thank you my dear children for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. In our next video, we are going to see chapter 7, Introduction to MS PowerPoint 2016. Okay, thank you.